Your time now is 643, and just hours ago, President Joe Biden wrapped up his third State of the Union address. The speech filled with headline-making moments as he sought to make the case to the American people that he deserves a second term over his rival, Donald Trump. ABC's Ika Jachi shares the biggest takeaways. Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States. President Biden wasting no time beginning his State of the Union speech by discussing the fight for democracy, going after Donald Trump, yet never mentioning him by name. My predecessor and some of you here seek to bury the truth about January 6th. I will not do that. The fiery and at times combated speech highlighting a wide range of issues, beginning most notably with women's reproductive rights. Biden delivering a message to Republicans and the Supreme Court justices in attendance. My God, what freedom else would you take away? Clearly, those bragging about overturning Roe v. Wade have no clue about the power of women. Biden also touting his record on the economy. 15 million new jobs in just three years. Unemployment at 50-year low. And announcing an emergency military mission to build a port in Gaza, delivering food, water, medicine, and shelter. Humanitarian assistance cannot be a secondary consideration or a bargaining chip. Protecting and saving innocent lives has to be a priority. Biden saying despite the many issues the country faces, he remains optimistic. After the speech, Republicans painting a different outlook. The country we know and love seems to be slipping away, and it feels like the next generation will have fewer opportunities and less freedoms than we did. Biden did talk about his biggest vulnerability, his age, saying the issue facing our nation isn't how old we are, it's how old our ideas are. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington.